If you're looking for ways to increase your business revenue without adding much work to your plate, you should try adding a referral or affiliate program for your products. An affiliate program increases word-of-mouth marketing for your business. You encourage customers who already use and like your products to share them with their friends in return they will receive a commission, for example, 10% from the referred dollar amount. If this sounds like something you want to try for your business, let's jump into the tutorial. And because I believe there is no one solution that will suit every business, I will show you two ways you can add an affiliate program to your Squarespace website. The first option will be to use a Thrive Card. Thrivecart is an online platform that helps you sell your offer. In a nutshell, it's a card that will replace your Squarespace website checkout. And the second option would be to use an affiliate software and connect it to Squarespace, like Peaches or Affiliately. To help you make an informed decision, which option would be the best for you and your business, here's the pro and cons of each platform. Let's start with the Thrivecart. The first and the most obvious pro for Thrivecart is a one-time payment. So you pay one time and you do not have any subscription recurring each month, which is great. And if you start your business, it would actually save you money. Thrivecart has a built-in affiliate option. With each product, you are able to create an affiliate links for your affiliates. Drive cards allow you to easily customize your cart and your funnel. In Squarespace, we don't really have much options when it comes to the checkout. You cannot really customize the way your checkout look. You cannot add any elements there, like maybe testimonials or something else. While in the drive card, it's very easy to create own cart and you can add anything you want. You can also build a funnel with different upsells and downsells to maximize the amount per customer. And because we're gonna be using Thrivecart, you don't actually need a e-commerce subscription. So you go to just a business subscription. With the one-time payment of a Thrivecart, you also have an ability to host your courses inside the Thrivecart, which is also a great bonus on top of everything else. The cons are, if you have more than, let's say, 20 products, it gets very complicated because basically it's not an e-commerce platform, it's a cart. So there is no way to connect all of these products. Every time you create a new product, you have to create a new funnel for each of these products. If you have like 100 products, it's definitely going to be very, very complicated to manage all of it. To the same thing that each product needs a separate creation. You're going to create a product, then you're going to create a cart, then you're going to create upsell, downsell for each of the product. At first, the drive card, a little bit complex, the user interface, it's not as intuitive as Squarespace to my preference. And I don't think that a drive card is a great option for physical products. If you already have all of your products on Squarespace Commerce, you would have to remove that page and upload all of the products using like a portfolio page or some other pages, just connect them between each other, which is also can get complicated on a back end. I will show how to create that, but basically just consider that it's going to be an extra step that you'll have to take. It's going to be easy if you have only a few products, but if you have a big volume of products, that's going to get more complex. Our second option would be to use software like Peaches. There is others, I'm going to link them below in the description that connect with your already existing Squarespace website and you're able to generate affiliate links to refer your products. The very first and obvious pro, it seamlessly integrates with your already existing store, as opposed to the drive card when you have to recreate everything from scratch, basically. And when you're using one of the softwares like Peaches, you don't actually have to do it. You can connect the software and start inviting affiliates like today. It's very easy and intuitive platform. You also have a lot of great analytics and also it has a very user friendly interface for the affiliates, which is another plus very intuitive platform for the people who are going to be referring customers to you. And I think it's more suitable for digital and physical products. Moving to the cons, it requires a monthly subscription, which is going to add up on your uh, monthly bill on the top of e-commerce platform that you already pay. And the other con for me personally, all the selling is going to be done through the Squarespace. So you are unable to create any upsells or downsells as opposed to Thrivecart, where you can actually create your funnel and increase the 
minimum order value per customer. And also I want to mention that both of these platforms could be easily integrated with your email software so you can kind of automate all of this. And just before I jump in and show you how to actually do the technical part of integrating both of the software to your Squarespace website, I just want to quickly mention that if you've been using my website templates for your business, or if you're hearing about them for the first time, check out them in the link below. And we also offer an affiliate program and I'm inviting you to join. Here's our uh, first software that we're going to be using, which is a Peaches, and it's going to seamlessly integrate with our already existing Squarespace website. Click Get Started, select whichever plan works best for you. You're going to be taken to this page where you can create your um, affiliate program. I'm going to paste uh, the link to my website. And here they're asking the URL to log in on the back end of your website, and you need this URL over here. You would select your currency and here you have a two option percentage or the amount. Let's do a percentage. Let's say 20%. And if you have a subscription, decide you wanted to have a repeated commission or not and create your affiliate program. The first thing you want to do is connect to your Squarespace website. Click connect. I have a bunch of different websites allowed to connect. It's been successfully connected. Let's add the tracking script that is going to be tracking those affiliate referrals. Copy this, log into the back end of your website, click website, scroll all the way down to website tools, code injection. Make sure that you insert this in a header field and click save. And now we can uh, test it. It has been a success. Let's do the, uh, the next step. Copy this and paste it in the order confirmation page, which is also located over here. Just scroll down until you see order confirmation page. It's right here and click save again. Let's test it. Success. And now we're going to do this for the order status page and let's test this one. Beautiful. I'm going to open this in a new tab and let's create test account. We just created a test account as an affiliate, affiliate dashboard, and we're going to see this, our test person has applied to our affiliate program and it's waiting our approval. We can deny it or approve it. And it has been done successfully. Now we're going to go back and click test, which was a success. And now we want to make a test sale. The way you can test without actually spending money, I'm going to log in on the back end of my website, go to selling discounts. And I want to add a discount. I'm going to name it test, test hundred, just something that easy to remember. And here I'm going to just discount it for a hundred percent and click save. We just want to remember this test a hundred. And now let's go back. This is our, so from, from over here, we click on this link and open it in a new tab. And now we want to copy this. This is how you know that the link is working because here next to my website URL, you're going to see this affiliate ID that helps uh, Peaches to track, navigate to the templates and add to cart. And here we want to paste our code, apply. It has been automatically, uh, the test was test code has been applied. Okay. And let's purchase beautiful. And now let's go back. It has been a success. Don't forget to go back and delete this discount. <laughs> the next thing you want to do is add your payment details. This is where the money is going to be taking to pay your affiliates when they refer a sale to you. Great interface. So you're going to see how many affiliates you have, how many visitors are they generating, the net revenue, etc. You can invite affiliates from over here. Under their affiliates, you're going to be able to review each of their order the commissions, the pendings and the unpaid commission that you have to pay. Here in the settings, you want to customize your affiliate dashboard and add different materials that would help your affiliates to promote your products. For example, in my affiliate program, I have a lot of different images of my templates. So the affiliates don't have to go through the trouble of creating those images. They can just download it and start promoting. So this is how you would uh, create an affiliate program with um, Peaches. And now I'm going to show you how you can do the same with a Trive card. This is the Trive card. They do not offer any free trial because it's a one-time subscription. You buy and you use it forever. I have listed a Trive card link below if you decided that this is the route you want to take for your affiliate program. I'm just going to sign in because I already have a Trive card. 
And here you're going to have two different accounts. So this one is basically my account and this is my affiliate account. That's where I sign up for other people affiliates. I want to go to my account and this is how it looks from the inside. You want to create, first of all, you want to create a product. I'm going to create a new one and we want to create a digital one. If you want to add any description, English. Okay. Next here, you would set a pricing. You can select how you want to sell it. Split pay, for example, if your product costs a hundred dollars, you can split into two payments, three payments, as many as you want. Let's do forty dollars because it's a digital product. It's not a course. I'm not going to have any trial period. You can also set the limits. I'm not going to set any limits next. Just select if you want to allow one purchase or multiple purchases at once. Save our uh, product has been created here. You can create a bump and that's going to be a bump offer. Let's say you have something, our products, $40 and you have something that you can complimentary offer with the same product that costs like $10. We're going to skip it. And here affiliates, you can check that. Do you want the affiliate promote this product? And you would set a commission. Let's do Let's do the same 20%. You can also set a fixed fee wherever makes sense for your business. You can also customize the, the timing in which the affiliate is going to get paid. Let's do 30 days, pretty standard. Click save more options. If you want to auto approve all of the affiliates who apply, or you want to want to manually approve them, etc. If a uh, multiple affiliates refer your product, Basically the one who have refer you last would get the commission or the one who refer you first would get the commission. This is something for you to decide. And you also can set the cookie expiration day, which is usually like 60 days are pretty standard. Include the link to your, to your website and save and next here, you include your email address and click next under the checkout we want to customize it and launch an editor on the left you're going to have different options available all the stuff you can add like images videos uh, different dividers testimonials point countdowns whatever you decide and the way you edit you just you basically just drop the element and then select use this image and now we have two images and then if you hover over, you can just delete the beam. Okay. So you can spend some time customizing it here. Click next. You can also customize after they already purchased what is shown to them. So like here, and you can also drop different, different buttons, different elements that are available inside the editor and click complete, save and get the URL. And so this is our link to the card that would sell the product. Let's log into the Squarespace. Now we have to create a product page that would sell our product and link it to, to this URL. Let me show you. If you want to create an imitation of a store, the best way would be to use one of the collection pages. The portfolio would work best for it. A store is a collection page because we have a general store page hosts all of our products. We have like 10, 20, a hundred products inside under this one umbrella of the our store URL. Similarly, we have a portfolio page that we have a general portfolio page. And then under this portfolio page, we have different portfolio pieces. In our case, it's going to be our products. It doesn't matter what we select here. Looks good. Click on a portfolio page. You want to customize all of it. Let's say this is our product. And here we're going to have a description product name. We can also add the price. So it was $40. So it's very flexible. What we display here, we're not limited to wherever Squarespace e-commerce pages allow us to do make it. We're going to click this. We're going to attach the link we just created. Okay. Let's preview it. This is our demo product. And every time somebody would land here and they click buy now, it's going to navigate them to this page where they can insert their payment details and purchase this product. The payment processing is going through the third party cart, not the Squarespace, but through the Thrive card. Every time you create a new product, you would have to create 
a new page here, a new page under the portfolio. This is going to be our new product too. Like let's say save and we would have to customize it and edit it all of this stuff. And then we will have to create a new product inside the drive cart and then link them together. That's what I was saying that it's, it could get a little more complex one my wish you should consider this when you're choosing which one would work best for you either the software like a peaches or the drive card i hope this was useful thank you